We've defeated KFC before, and now they think they can enter a coveted Nashville arena? We'll see about that. Okay, so we've seen this all over the internet on TikTok and all the other social media places. It's very popular right now, and it's also extremely annoying, especially for those that are from Nashville. They're probably sitting back in their seats like, wait a minute, what the damn hell is that? That ain't Nashville. And they're right. They are right to be angry because you know what? It could be so much better. And not only better, but more proper, if you will. I've gone to Nashville and had the hot chicken, and I've made it before and gotten it as close as I possibly can, and I know that there's a certain level of respect that must be paid, so we're going to do that today. So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe there's a line right now. Why? Ah! Okay, so we had to actually go to a different one. We were waiting for like 12 minutes and we didn't move at all, so. We've made it to another one! Back at Papa John's! Yeah! Or, uh, KFC. I suspect this is probably going to taste good. Is it gonna taste as good as it could? Psh, doubt it. Hi, hello? At first she'd be like, eh, back I was like, huh? And then she's like, what the f you want? Damn, I just want some chicken. I'm, I'm afraid, I'm scared. Oh, f me. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, sir, you as well. Well, that was not my most favorite experience. So we've got the bag. At least they put it in plastic bags so that my car doesn't get this is what everyone's all crazy about on TikTok. All the TikTok people are like, oh my God. They gave me ranch. If you are from Nashville, I know you are in pain right now. You have to be. Everyone's saying that these are like the crispiest on the planet. That sound crispy to you? It smells like pickle. Wow, this is awful. This is not Nashville hot chicken. The texture of the chicken, this is like a thick rubber band, hardly spicy at all. Let's taste the oil in the bottom. This has no flavor. I mean, anyone from Nashville has to eat this and immediately be like, what the hell is this, bro? This is not proper. I have someone who's eaten this before and doesn't think it's that bad. That's all I need to know. I just want to make sure that we didn't just get an unusually terrible batch. Right. Just get some of that flavorless yeah, oil. That down yeah, there. flavorless. Yep. Taste about how it's supposed to. I, God bless. Thank you so much, DJ. I love you so much. Enjoy that. Nashville homies, look, we can redeem this. Okay, hot chicken is splendidly simple and easy. Don't overcomplicate it. You got the crispy chicken, you got the spicy oil. Let's get this rolling. Since for some reason we're making tenders, you're gonna start off with five to six chicken breasts. Cut those in half lengthwise to get two tenders. Depending on their size, you may need to cut them into thirds, but use your common sense. You're trying to tell me you don't know what an appropriate tender looks like? Separately, mix together two tablespoons or 30 grams of kosher salt and two teaspoons or five grams of MSG. KFC uses it, so we're using it too. No mind if I do. Mix those together until thoroughly combined, then season all of your chicken bobbies generously with your MSG salt on all sides. Then cover those with plastic wrap and let them cure in the fridge for at least one hour or overnight. Look, technically you can skip the cure entirely, but doing it really helps the seasoning penetrate the chicken. So if you want to penetrate it, that would be how you do it. Now, to make your chicken dress, Get a large bowl and add three cups or 450 grams of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon or eight grams of smoked paprika, one tablespoon or eight grams of garlic powder, two teaspoons or five grams of ground white pepper, two teaspoons or five grams of onion powder, one tablespoon or 10 grams of kosher salt, Whew, getting light-headed, and two teaspoons or six grams of MSG. Give it some whiskey business until thoroughly combined and place to decide. And make your butt milk dip by adding two large eggs. Whisk those together until nice and homogenous. Then whisk in two cups or 475 milliliters of buttermilk, also known as butt milk to me. See, that's where it gets the name from. Three tablespoons or 45 milliliters of hot sauce. This is crystal hot sauce, but you can use whatever your sweet little baby heart desires. And two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of pickle juice. Optionally, you can sprinkle it with some of your MSG salt left over from when we were seasoning our chicken bobbies. And now you have your dippy little man and your dredge. Next, heat up a heavy bottom pot with at least two and a half inches of vegetable oil to 335 Fahrenheit or 170 Celsius. Now, while that's heating, before we bread or fry, let's get our hot oil spices ready. In a heat proof bowl, add four tablespoons or 35 grams of cayenne powder, one tablespoon or eight grams of smoked paprika, one tablespoon or eight grams of garlic powder, one tablespoon or 10 grams of kosher salt, one tablespoon or seven grams of MSG, and two tablespoons or 30 grams of packed brown sugar. Whisk all that together until thoroughly combined and place to the Side. Okay, the breading process is real simple, all right? It's not rocket science, it's uh, chicken science. 
Yeah. I first like to drizzle a couple of tablespoons of my dipping liquid into the dredge mixture while stirring vigorously to get tiny little nuggies in the breading for that good old fashioned flakiness. And I would highly recommend that you do the same. Otherwise, maybe Papa no kiss. Who knows? Maybe Papa no share the chicken with you. Anyway, to dredge, first coated chicken breast with the flour mixture thoroughly, no wet spots. Okay. Shake off the excess, then give it a nice little bath to thoroughly coat in the buttermilk mixture. And finally, back into the flour, pressing the dredge aggressively into the chicken to give it a nice thick coat. And make sure to coat every little crevice because again, no kiss from Papa if there's a bald chicken area. Once that's nicely coated, transfer to a baking sheet coated with flour and repeat with all of your chicken. Oh, look at the coated little men. Let's take them to the fiery pits of fry oil. To fry, carefully lay three to four pieces of your chicken into your hot oil away from you, unless you want to splash yourself with the oil, which is uh, not recommended. Please don't do that. And fry for anywhere between six to eight minutes or until golden brown. Crisp in the interior is fully cooked, which should be 165 Fahrenheit internal temperature. Now, this next bit is crucial. As you pull your chicken out of the hot oil, place it on a wire rack to drain just for a few seconds and immediately whisk one and a half cups or 350 milliliters of your hot frying oil. Yes, the one that you fried the chicken in into your spicy oil mixture. Once that's whisked together and thoroughly combined, dunk your freshly fried chicken into the hot oil immediately to thoroughly coat and place on a wire rack to drain off the excess. You want this spicy oil in the chicken to be hot when you coat it. Otherwise, it will make your chicken go soggy. Then simply repeat this process with all of your chicken, frying beautifully, draining slightly, then dunking and totally coating with your beautifully fragrant borderline sensual spicy oil and allow to drain. That's it. That's the Nashville hot chicken. And yes, the spicy oil will stay hot enough through the whole frying process. If you're not. Papa's got you. Anyway, to assemble your meaty spicy boys, stick to tradition. Get a plate, lay down a nice slice of white bread. Yes, the high blood sugar inducing kind. Two gorgeous pieces of luxuriously crispy hot chicken. Really let that spicy oil leak into the pillowy bread. Mmm. Papa looks so spicy for my tum tum, but also so yum yum. Add two pickle coins or more should your heart desire it. And that's our plate. Now, looking at these two, I already know which one I would pick, but now we need to taste test and decide who really won. Well, you know, visually, as Vikram previously stated, hey, yo, why this look like a shrimp? Thank you, we won. That's all I have to say. We just disrespected these people. They're not people, they're chimkins. There's heat, it's not too spicy. It's salty, it's rich, the chicken is so moist. It's got multiple layers of just flavor, brother. And that's the whole point of a Nashville hot chicken. It should criddle you like you're its little chickeny child. This shit left you in the crib, bro. Okay, it's taste test time. So we gotta shuffle first. Oh, no, 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 no. Just turn it, there, yep, and then eat it. Come on, sweetie. Oh my God. Mm. Number two. Ah. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty clear. <laughs> it's clear from the first bite. Yours was the first one, yours is better. I mean, I said it looks like shrimp, but it kind of tastes like shrimp too. I taste like a fishy sub note in there. I don't know why. A fishy sub note? I'm not detecting Whatever. that. This tastes good, but it has no flavor. This actually has like the skin of this, has like the spice and the depth, I feel like. And whereas this doesn't, it's not a Nashville chicken, but better. We win. <laughs> You wanna know what else has hot, spicy breasts of chicken? I mean, B-roll. Guys, and that is it. So we made our KFC Nashville hot chicken, which is really, we just ended up making Nashville hot chicken. Let's be honest. We paid homage. We gave it some love. It was actually spicy as it should be. It was unbelievably crunchy. And you know what? I'm sorry. You can't beat a proper Nashville hot chicken, especially if it's made in Nashville. Shout out to Hattie B's, by the way. That's my favorite place to go. Look, I'm not saying that the KFC version wasn't good at all. I'm just saying that it wasn't nearly as good as it should have been. And it just doesn't pay the love that Nashville deserves. Nashville deserves it, brother. So nonetheless, we won. We killed this one. It was perfect, delicious. I recommend that you make it, as always. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you 